everybody. Erin and I took mom back to, or not back to, but we took her to this new Goodwill that we went to last week in Ocala, Florida. Um, we were so impressed by the prices. We were like, you have to go there and check this out. Um, what, what I mentioned to you guys last time was, you know, oh my gosh, can you believe I found that? Like sitting right there? Holy crap. That's never happened to me at Goodwill. But back to my story. <laughs> this um, place, the price point is so good, in my opinion, for a Goodwill, um, that you can try things that maybe you wouldn't have normally have tried because you're being picky with prices. And then look at this. Aaron found another one. Holy crapola. Two vintage Santa mugs. So it only makes me wonder what else was there before I got there, but... Anyways, that was, I was excited. That was like my fun find there. Um, I was just at this Goodwill actually a couple of days earlier. I took Bianca and her friend shopping for her birthday and um, look at that little bird planter, just like bam, sitting there. And we were there, um, let's see, it's Saturday. We stopped by there. I didn't get any footage because I was there with them and it was Saturday, so it was really busy. So fast forward two days. Some of the stuff is the same, but of course they had the new stuff like those Santa mugs. <laughs> so I was excited about that. While we were there, they didn't bring any new carts out or anything like that. So we left there and that's when we took mom over to an antique store. Um, and, but... I mean, we did find some stuff while we were here. I spotted this cute little mushroom pottery here. I liked the glaze on the top, so that's what drew me to this guy. Plus, I know a certain someone that really likes different glazed potteries, so I was keeping my eye out for that. Um, there's another figurine, Alex, with your figurines. I just, I can't help it. I like them. This guy, I've seen him like three times now. I probably should have grabbed him, but I didn't. And I, I pick him up. I mean, I've like I said, I've been to this Goodwill three times within like mm, maybe a week and a half. And I've grabbed him each time. So I should probably just get him next time. <laughs> I didn't even look him up. Um, so mom was showing me this Disney mug. And I actually uh, unlisted the last few Disney mugs that I had before they relisted themselves on eBay because they've been there a while. And um, definitely dif Disney mugs, mugs can sell, but you need to look them up first and uh, see because it's, you know, there's just so many of them. So like usually if you can find like a really, a good one that's in, uh, it's in really good shape, like for the villains and stuff, those do pretty good. Um, but just check them out. Don't just buy it because it's Disney because there's just so many of them out there. Now, this piece right here is by Fostoria. It's like their coin uh, coin glass. Oh, I had a little struggle pulling that out of there. Um, these, especially in the clear, now the colored might be different, but the clear goes from like maybe $5 to about $40 depending on the item you have. Um, I think the goblets... Uh, have sold recently um, for around $40 if you get like a set of six or something like that. Um, but the other things like that bowl probably sells for like 12 bucks. So unless you can get it like for a quarter or free, um, that was just not something that I was really going to mess with there. And then look at that. I thought a couple of times that those, that that was a um, Tommy Hilfiger dog bowl. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. I did end up picking this up. It has really nice age to it. I'm going to look up that lovely stamp that's on the back. Yes, it has chips on the front, but oh my gosh, I love it. Um, even Aaron liked it. And there's another coin dot piece over there, a little lidded jar. Aaron was looking at a little candle. And let's see what's over here did I spot it got to the point where I was just kind of randomly going and showing you guys stuff um, while I was waiting to see if they were going to bring anything else out 
a little piece of the wheat iron stone stuff there missing its lid this is really neat this was signed um but look at that glass look at that it's a little cased vase bud vase or something or it's not even a bud vase i didn't look inside the top it might be a perfume bottle i didn't see if it was ground inside there um but I mean, when they don't have their stoppers, that because that was a tiny little hole, so that would be a tiny little one, like a skinny stopper. But you can always use them as a little vase or not. You could just set them on a shelf and admire them. My mom was showing me this little Christmas house, and um, if so, I was telling her that to put it in like a, a sale. I know people collect Christmas all year long, but I know it's like. The, I think the people that collect Christmas all year long, it's certain Christmas items, like very specific, like like mid-century, like the little Santa mugs or, you know, the boxes of shiny brights, you know, things like that. But in general, I thought I was kind of pushing it on uh, Christmas items being in the sales. So I skipped that little house. This aisle is just a mess. Aaron spotted this down here. This is... Is a, it's like um, a modern piece. Someone probably had it outside, but man, it was really neat. This mask, um, I think someone had it outside. The wire was all rusty, but it's like this mosaic looking thing. And it was like $1.98. And I was like, Pff. I mean, it would be an interesting box to ship that in, but I mean, I would try it for the $2, you know? I mean, this Goodwill is just so reasonable. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> I do usually like digging through aisles like this, um, but we weren't really finding anything. Um, like, I don't know. We, I mean, we did find that mask, so I guess that's that was cool. And people do stick things where they don't belong. Like this wasn't supposed to be over there. Um, but I did soon, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to give up on this aisle. And we went somewhere else. That was kind of pretty. I went to another aisle and then I spotted some, well, it's like, it's restaurant wear, but there it is. It is, it is for, oh gosh, what did that say? I think it's the army like medical unit. I was showing Aaron. It does have a chip or not a chip, a, like a crack there, but I've done really well when I find items that are because I've found them before they're in past videos um, and mainly at the Salvation Army. Man, I miss those deals at my old Salvation Army. Ugh, but I found restaurant wear that belonged on like uh, railroads, like they had railroad lines, um, you know, on them, advertising on them and stuff. And then um, dairy farms. I have done really well with stuff like that. So even with that little hairline crack down that side I still was going to grab it for the two dollars and try it now when I got when I got in the car not I was gonna say when I got home but when I got in the car actually I looked it up there look look I, I put all those and made them all nice in a row um I looked up the the army stuff I'm pretty sure it was the army um and if that was a soup tureen that I would have found that's like seven hundred dollars one just sold for so yeah, I'll, I check the restaurant where, especially when it has something like that on there, a railroad, um, a dairy farm, an old hotel you want to look up. Um, not every hotel sells, but some of them do, especially the ones that don't exist anymore. So yeah, just make sure you look stuff up. That's, I mean, that's what I tell you guys all the time is just look it up. All right, guys. Well, this is the last bit of footage that I have. It's The video's got a couple more minutes left, but that's it for this Goodwill. Um, don't forget, before you guys leave, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you ring the little bell, you know, hit that little bell so that you guys can see more videos like this if you're interested. And let's see, don't forget to go check out my shirts. The links should be in my channel, like in the little store tab. Don't forget to go follow us on Instagram because you see all kinds of things before they come here onto YouTube. And don't forget to go check out our eBay store. We're posting new things all the time. New things are also selling all the time. So you got to make sure you check often. All right, guys, thank you so, so much. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget Sundays at one Eastern, we have live sales on the YouTube channel. So 
make sure you got to make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I'm live. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.